before we start, um, we're going to create a game loop first. The game loop will be from a start page to a gameplay page. When user hit the button on the start page to play the game, the game will start to loading. When the game is loaded, user can see the gameplay page and start to play the game. When user, if the user is failed, will load the level failed menu. If the user is past the game, then we will load the level completed menu. So this is a very simple game loop. We will start from the start page first. So for the start page, we will start from a new project in Unity. How should we start a new project? When you open the Unity, and you will load it the latest project you have from last time. But now we are going to create a new one. So simply just go File, New Project. And you can call any name you want. In this case, we can call tap to break. For tutorial. Or maybe just call tap to break. And uh, let me add uh, the date in here to distinguish from other projects. Because I got a couple of uh, tap to project in here. Okay. When you don't hit the create button, couple seconds later it will pop up again. So this is a brand new, brand new project. Before we start, we need to do the setup. If you have the Android license, you can switch to Android. If you have an iOS license, you can switch to iOS. But if you don't have uh, any of them, you can simply just use the PC and Mac standalone. It's fine. In this case, we got a, we we are going to switch the platform to the Android because we have nothing in the sim. So. When we're doing the switch, it will be very fast. Let's check the player settings real quick. This will be the portrait and uh, leave everything else as default. Icon, splash, other settings, just leave it for now, it's fine. We close this menu, go back to here. When you set to any either iOS or Android, the ratio will be different. So you just choose any ratio you need in here or the resolution to match your Android device or iPad or iPhone. In my case, I'm going to switch to the this one. 480 by 800 so right now we are already set a new project let's save this one as a new sim you can just simply hit command s simply hit the command s To save the scene.
you can save it in here. Let's call it uh, star start page and hit save. And also, by the way, there is nothing inside the project or the assets folder. In here, this is the project panel. We are going to create something before we start the project, uh, especially for the data structure. 